Impossible was the very first animated series created for Disney Channel. When Disney Channel first started, all they had were live action series that have aged really badly. Well, only a few of them actually hold up. Hey, hey Shia LaBeouf, why don't you transform into a better series? <laughs> Get it? I guess they figured that they start making the stuff that Disney was really known for, which is animation. So that's how we got Kim Possible and a ton of others. And I must say that Kim's arguably the best. Arguably. God dang it. We'll, we'll get to that one later. Kim Possible was a show that told us about the untimely misadventures of this chick with really pointy boobs that went to high school and fought Dr. Doofenshmirtz, Sedusta, Hugh Hefner, and a ton of other baddies on the side. She even had herself a little sidekick who went by the name of Ron Stoppable. I, I know, bad joke, right? He was a goofball McGee that walked around with his naked mole rats. I, I wonder if it'd be in bad taste if I made a penis joke here. He may seem to be the guy that's just there to be dumb and make the kids laugh, and <laughs> yeah, he does that too, but he's actually grown into an actual person with believable traits and feelings, and is really useful in him and Kim's missions sometimes. <coughs> sometimes. It's a safe bet to say that Kim was who he wanted to be, and Ron is who he really were. Except Ron can cook. I, I, I can't cook. The greatest joy about this show is how serious it took itself. It made sure we cared about the characters and what actually happened to them. It made sure that we knew them. A great example of this is in a sitch in time where we get to see how Kim and Ron first meet, their first mission, and other events in their life that prove how strong their friendship is. But the show wasn't shy of its humor either. That's where Ron and his little dildo Rufus came in. They were the comic relief, and I must say, they still hold up to this very day. To me, their Timon and Pumbaa done better. I'm sorry, I love the Lion King and all, but the fart jokes get old really fast. And I got down How did you feel? Every time I Pumba, not in front of the kids. Oh, sorry. The animation and art style of the show itself is simply beautiful. It barely ever looks limited at all as the characters are constantly moving through their dialogue and the action scenes are some of the most perfect I've ever seen. I honestly thought that a cartoon couldn't get any better with action scenes until a little short suburban devil came along. As far as television animation goes, Kim Possible will forever be one of the greatest in the art and movement department. I mean, the characters in the background actually move, blink, and have interactions. Unlike Family Guy, DO SOMETHING! A topic I really want to bring up is the movie, so the drama. This has got to be tied with Codeine Kisne's Door Operation Zero and South Park Bigger Longer and Uncut as the greatest animated film ever based on a cartoon series. Now, I bring it up because it was intended to be the finale, and I totally see it. <coughs> Spoilers. Kim and Ron finally take down Draken and Shigo, they confess their love for each other, and they actually start dating, leaving Monique with... Ew. Perfect way to end the show. But Disney brought the show back for another season, making the creators come up with new stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, the new stuff was as great as before, but god dang it man, you were so close to the most perfect note that an animated series can go out on since Sonic sat AM. Well, almost perfect. Who is that? <sighs> Leave it to Disney to not know when to end something at the right time. <clears throat> But I'm proud to say that I grew up with this show. Everyone talks about how they want their favorite animated shows to come back over many years and make new episodes, but I think we can all agree that Kim Possible doesn't need a revival. You can tell they had fun making it and they knew exactly when it ran its course. It still holds up way better than a lot of other stuff that Disney was making back then. I'm looking in your direction, High School Musical. Kim Possible is one of the most badass programs on Disney. Sure, Disney has some really great stuff with Phineas and Ferg and Gravity Falls, but there will never be another Kim Possible. So what's the sit?